What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute stretch for hamstrings and low back. So have a seat on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome to your 20 minute stretch for your hamstrings and your low back. This is probably the area that I get the most requests for. Sydney, can you please help us stretch anywhere from knees to mid back, right? And if you're someone that sits a lot or you're someone that's just naturally tight back there, this is gonna help you out a lot. I will say today and every single day this month, just because you're feeling tightness in an area doesn't mean that the tightness is stemming only from there. So we will hit the areas around it just to make sure you get the best chance at increased mobility and just feeling better in your body, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel before we get started. Just a quick second right below this video. It means so much to us and I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and place your feet together, knees and ankles together. You're gonna to give me the pinky side of your hand on your thighs, okay? And as we shift our pinkies to the floor, you're gonna shift your hips backwards, okay? Big deep breath. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice long back. Keep it nice and straight. You're gliding your pinkies down. Don't round your back out yet. And I want you to shift your weight back into your heels and think about getting the top of your head away from your tailbone. So we're really lengthening here. Good, slowly come back up. And let's go one more time, flat back. Okay, don't round your back just yet. Reach it down, 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 down. Shift your hips back, open your hamstrings and glutes up to that back wall. There you go. Stay here, now go just a little bit deeper for four, three, two, one, perfect. Come back up to the top, and now I do want you to let your back round out. Okay, so head down, relax your head down towards your chest, and I want you to take your hands behind your legs, either in your hamstrings, knees, or calves if you can, and pull your chest towards your quads. Good, stay here. Big deep breath, pull a little closer. There you go, good. Keep your legs straight. Four, three, two, one, release. And we're gonna go down one more time, okay? Same thing, feet are still together, keep your legs straight. Even if you only get to right here, straighten your legs, round your back and stretch. Okay, let's go ahead. You can go down, go down and pull. Four, three, two, and one. Release your hands and put them right out onto the mat. Step back into a pike position. Drive your heels down to the floor. Here we go. Push, push, push. And as you push your heels to the floor, use your hands to push the weight back into your feet. Like I said, anything in the posterior chain, it's gonna work together. So we start from quads, or we start from, sorry, calves. <laughs> quads are up top. We start from the calves, work our way up to the back of the neck, okay? Good, shift your weight over onto just the left foot, release your right foot. Bend your left leg just a little bit. Straighten that leg back up. Reach your hips back over that heel just a little bit more for five, three, two, one. Shift your weight over to your right foot. Good job. Right foot is down and straight leg. Keep breathing here. Push with your hands back into that heel. Good, go ahead and bend your right leg just a little bit. Feel the stretch all up the back of your soleus, your gastroc. Good job. Starts from the bottom and it moves its way up. You're doing great. Now go ahead and straighten that leg out again. Keep the pressure on that heel and use your hands to push back all the weight into that foot. There you go. Four, 
three, two, one, perfect. Step your left foot up right under your chest. Okay, so you've got a nice staggered stance now. And I want you to just stay folded chest over your quad right here, reaching way out front, okay? With your back foot, I want you to work on keeping the heel down so you get a nice stretch in your calf back there just a little bit, but the main focus is up front in your hamstring. Good, that foot is flat. Weight is distributed between the two, so you have a little bit of weight in the front leg, a little bit in the back leg. And the main thing here is just to get your chest as close to your quad as possible. Beautiful. Shift the weight up to the front foot, and let's switch legs. Okay, stepping the other foot back again. And here we go, nice straight leg. Roll your belly button and your chest down towards your quad in that front leg, and reach your hands away. Back foot is down, so you're getting a little calf stretch back there. Great job. Good, push down a little further. Four, three, two, and one. Step up together with both feet. You're doing great. And now we're gonna create some distance between your feet. So step them out nice and wide. Toes are pointed 45 degrees out, okay? And you're gonna just drop your hips down, opening your knees out to the side. Okay, so hamstrings and inner thighs really closely tied in together. So the weight is in your heels, you're using your forearms to push out. This can be something as high as this, and just opening it up. Okay, wherever you are today, let's go there, push out and open. Good, hands down, lift your hips up, turn your toes forward, drop it down. And we're gonna rock between these two positions two more times. Okay, so that plie, adductor stretch, and then this kind of ragdoll, wide stance sumo stretch. Good job, walk it back in, weight is on your hands, turn your toes 45 degrees out, put the weight into your heels, Shift it back and open, open, open. Good job. If you can go lower, use your forearms, push away. You're doing great. Nice job. Keep it open. Good. Hands down in front. Lift your hips, toes point forward. Hang it down. And I want you this time to think about rolling your belly button towards the floor. Okay, so give me a little bit of a back arch as you look up. There you go. Good. One more time, let's go back out to our plie. Toes turn out, heels are down. Your hands or your elbows are on your inner thighs. Sit and open. Nice job. You're just kind of creating this really long adductor stretch in here. You can shift it side to side if it feels okay. As long as there's good constant pressure on it, you're gonna feel so much better. There you go, roll your belly button forward just a little bit. There you go, feel a little bit deeper there. That's good. Four, three, two, and one. Lift your hips going back down to the front. One last time. Let's roll the belly button forward again. So you've got a little bit of a back arch. And you're looking up if you can. This anterior pelvic rotation is really good to hit the top part of the hamstrings. Beautiful job. All right, now bring your belly button back up. Okay, I want you to walk your feet in together and we're gonna take left foot right behind the right foot, okay? Your back leg stays straight, your front leg is just a little bit bent, okay? So straight back leg, you're gonna reach down towards the floor and you're gonna feel this really well in your glute and hamstring on the back leg. Okay, 
right, if you can. And now I want you to make your way over to the back foot arch. Okay, so you're walking, giving your spine a little twist, and you're thinking about pushing this back hip out away from your front foot, out to the side. And this one you should feel it from basically your tailbone all the way down to your heel on your back foot. Good job. Bring your hands out to the front, switch legs. So now the, uh, the foot that was in the back now becomes the foot that is in the front. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> and your back leg is straightened. Front leg is bent. Get your positioning there. And by the way, like I always say, we're all at different points in our mobility. Okay, so if you're up here, that's totally fine. I just need you to feel the stretch right back here and here, okay? Good, let's make our way over if you can towards the back foot arch or heel. So again, you're giving a good twist. This side is pushing out away from that front foot, right out to the side. Great job, I want you to do that one more time. So let's switch feet. Front leg becomes the back leg. We're gonna walk over immediately. Okay, and now I want you to drop your head down. Shove your hip out to the side and the back leg. Let your head hang down. Great job. Three, two, one. Just switch it over, come back to the middle walk over, drop your head down. Good, keep stretching, keep stretching, you're doing great. Three, two, one, awesome. Bring your feet right back beside each other, okay? Hands are out front, I want you to walk out just a little bit, create some space between your feet and your hands. Okay, and we're gonna move into a figure four stretch. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so let's take left foot first. Bring that ankle right above your knee, okay? Slowly, you're gonna walk your hands back to your feet. As you're walking, you're gonna bend your back leg. Stop here if you need to. If you can keep walking, set all the weight in this back foot and bend down. Where should you feel the stretch? Right here. <laughs> Okay, right on this side. Just sit and bend. If you can come up, you can. Press down. I just prefer to fold over top of it. Okay, and sit low. I'm gonna drive this knee down. There you go. Good, keep pushing, keep pushing. Good, all right, let's walk it back out. Create that space again. Drop it down and switch it over. Okay, so the opposite ankle comes right above the knee. You walk back. As you're walking, bend your back leg. Great job. I'm spending a lot of time here on the glutes and hamstrings because they are the big controllers of the hips and the low back. Perfect, stay right there, push that knee down, flex your toe up towards your knee. Great job, walk it out, walk it out, and take your feet back into a plank position. And now we're gonna come plank and drop the lower belly down. Okay, relax your feet, nice and flat, and push up creating a little pressure, a little flexion on your spine. Good job. Lift up away from the floor. Good, lower down to the floor for just a second. Big deep breath. One more time, inhale, exhale, lift. Great job. This is one that I recommend everyone do, especially if you're sitting all day, you're in a car, you're at a desk. 
you're just in a chair in general, you're in the exact opposite of this position. This is really great for your back. Good, come into a tabletop position now. Okay, I want you to just work on releasing your low back a little bit. So big deep breath in and drop that low back down towards the floor. Exhale, lift. Again, drop it down. Exhale, lift. Back down. Exhale, lift. And one more time, nice and slow. Drop it down, down, down. Big deep breath in. Slowly exhale as you slowly lift. Great job. Keep that lifted position as you sit back over your calves. And reach your hands out front, pinky side down. Good. Come on up to a tabletop position again. Left foot right outside your left hand. Push your hips down. Good. Drop that hip down to the floor. Pressure is on the hip here to open up for you. You also will feel a little pressure here in your low back. Good. Turn over towards your front knee. Little twist. You can use this top arm onto your front leg. Good. Come back in the center. And shove your hips back over your calves. Lengthen this front leg out a little more. Reach past your feet if you can. Great work. There you go. All right, we're gonna flow through that one more time. So let's get back into front leg out front, hands down, push forward, open up here. Open, 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 open. Use your hand on your knee if you need to. Big open chest, really drive this hip down to the floor. Foot out back is totally flat. And turn towards your front knee. Big pressure with your top arm to twist. And back towards the center, nice long spine. Beautiful, push it back, back, back. Front leg is out, flex your toe up towards your knee. And we're gonna flip right over it and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. All right, swing your knees back underneath your hips. Let's drop it down, press up first. Good, shift your hips back all the way. And come on up with your right foot, right outside of your right hand. Push your hips down at first. Good, get there, hips are straight, feet are straight in front of your hips. Open it up. Good, stay here. And turn over towards your front knee. Use this top arm to twist and turn. Nice job. Still pressing the hip down here. And good, shift it back. There we go. We're gonna go one more time through that and then we're gonna close it out in a seated position, okay? So come on back up, shift it forward, open it up nice and tall. Good, turn over, big twist, drop that hip down out back. There we go, push, 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 you're doing great. I know you're gonna feel so much better after this. Good, come back into the middle. And good, all right, meet me in a seated position. I think you guys are gonna feel so much better after this, so you've got crisscross applesauce here now. Okay, I want you to take your right hand, lift it over, 
and diagonally stretch it out straight from that knee. Okay, other hand pushes your knee down to the floor. Good, swing it in just a little bit more towards the center. Fold your chest down towards the floor. And then both arms here in the center. Reach and really press your pinkies down to lift your spine up. Good, left hand stays. Right hand moves over to this knee. Reach diagonal. Really lift up your ribs here. Good, swing your left arm over a little bit more. You're really stretching this low back here. Good, come back into the middle. Hands on your knees and just let yourself float backwards. Big stretch. Reach, reach, reach for three, two, one. Good, come back up to the top. Big deep breath in, and just as the clock rolls out to zero, I want you to exhale and le release your back. Lean back. There you go, guys. We've made it through our hamstring and back stretch. Good work. <laughs> Come on up. I hope you feel so much better. I know I can feel some blood flow back here. I felt a really great stretch here and here in my hips, my back. That stretch at the end is really great for targeting those spinal erectors right beside your spine. So use what worked for you in that stretch. Keep doing it and also keep doing this stretch throughout the week, especially if you're someone who's naturally tight in those areas. And I promise you're not only gonna feel an improvement in your mobility, but also in your workouts and in your everyday life, okay? If we're tight, we're always walking around adjusting things to compromise for tight hamstrings. We can get into weird positions and increase our risk for injury in lifting things at home and also in lifting things here in the workout. So I don't just say this just to be like, hey, Hang out with me and stretch, although I do love our time together. I want you to feel incredible, and I want you to have these nice, long, creative uh, stretches with yourself when you need them. Okay, so when you wake up, think, what am I needing? What do I need? Is it something like this? Is it something where I just need to move? Get a little bit creative because you know your body best, okay? And the best medicine for your body is just movement, all right? So keep doing this stretch. Maybe share it with your friends and your family because I know a lot of people have tightness in these areas and I just wanna help you guys feel a little bit better, a lot better in those areas. So have a great day today. I will see you back here tomorrow for your workout. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you did it with me and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.